Hi, so today I'm going to show you uh, a little technique for using um, pipettes to um, do like a dripping blood effect. Um, I've just picked this old drawing that I never finished and I've got a couple of uh, Liquitex inks. Uh, I've got like the red and I've got a brown just to maybe darken the red a little bit just to make it look a bit more um, blood-like and not as bright as that. Um, now these have got like pipettes in them but you cannot use like a separate pipette with a more of a, like a, a fine end just to drip uh, but we're gonna test both and we're gonna we're gonna see what's what uh, with these so what we'll do is we'll open these up and maybe mix them and then start to apply some drips and see what we can uh, achieve so I've just put like an old dishcloth under there just so it'll stop it being soaked into the drawing board. So what I'm just going to do is I'm, I'm going to use this uh, just to drop a drip and see what the drip consistency is like. I'm just going to choose an area, maybe this side. Quite like that. I'm going to speed up there. Let me just do another one. Right now, I'm going to put a bit in my palette. It was just, just off camera. Put a bit of the red in, and I'm going to mix a bit of that um, raw umber, which is like a, a brown. I just want a drop of that. And I'll just mix it in, and it makes it a bit darker there. Now I'm going to use my other pipette because it will mix the paint in there and I don't want that. So I'm just going to fill that up there, you just squeeze it and then you do that. So we're going to choose some other areas, maybe it's all around the mouth, you know, because it's like blood and stuff. That's a bit darker there, I like that one, that's more blood-like. So it always is good to use uh, the brown and the red together. Any type of inks that you've got. And maybe do a little drip there. Come on, drip. There we go. These are quite good drips, actually. They look a bit thicker than I was expecting, but um, still pretty cool. Got the last bit of the paint, which is in the palette. Um, maybe do like a one near the eye. I wonder if we can splatter it a bit as well. Use it to blow. <laughs> oh yeah, slight splatter. <laughs> Quite like that. And uh, maybe soak up some of the ink bits there and just, I don't know if you can, yeah, little splatters here and there, might as well use it all up. There's a tiny bit left in the thing, I don't know if I can just tiny splatters, but yeah, like the, the drips, I really like them. That's all used up. We're going to get that one to drip. No, <laughs> but I quite like that. So that's how you can use pipettes to create a, like a nice dripping effect on your drawings. Maybe test out on your old drawings first before you, <laughs> you know, um, ruin all your hard work on a drawing that you've spent quite a lot of time on. <laughs> Uh, trust me, I've done that before. So, hope you like that video. Leave a like, subscribe, and all that jazz. Cheers now.